Hello everyone, this is Swam with Black Box Stocks and we are so excited to release version 2.0 of our web-based platform to everyone. This is gonna be a brief overview of the new features, how to find them and how to use them. So bear with me as we go through this. You'll be very excited as we see what we've been able to add for you all. Uh, let's get started first off by when you first log in, this is the main landing page. And just a couple things to note. Before there would be a drop down menu here under the NASD and YSE box that would let you sort the alert log by dollar amounts. Um, let's say you wanted to see everything less than $5, you could do that. That drop down box doesn't happen any longer because we added it to the alerts button. So now when you go to the alerts button under the alert log, you can see there is a slide bar here that lets you sort by price or you can just type it in. And then that will sort this list by price. The other thing that I want to focus on is charting. That's the main change that we've made. The biggest improvement that we've made was on the charting side of the system. So let's talk about that just for a moment. First thing we want to do is expand the chart because by expanding the chart, this allows us to add multi charts. So you can now look at multiple charts all at the same time. In order to do that, you expand it. Then we're going to come up here to grid and you can see there are 12 pre-designed layouts or you can choose your own if you'd like. Uh, very similar to other charting platforms that are out there. Let's just choose the, this one here. It's predefined. It will add the other two charts in, whatever you had here on your initial chart. Very much again like other training plat or, uh, charting platforms, you can see that there are, is a green box around each chart when I click on it. That means that is the active chart. Okay. So if I want to make changes to this chart, if I want to add studies, uh, this is the chart that's going to the studies are going to be applied to. So let's do that because we made some changes on the studies as well. Now, when you click on studies, you have the study library that comes up. And one of the two, two of the best features I think now is you can click on favorites. So you can highlight them or, or basically click on the little star. And as you click on the star, it's going to uh, move those to the top for you. We also added the go, no go trend. This is not a black box stocks proprietary study. This is one that's out there. Uh, very, very interesting. We've been watching this one. Um, so I'm going to select that one. You can go through and select which other ones you want. Now, when you come in, you can see they're all at the top start at your favorites, or you can click on the favorites section and it pulls them up as well. If you have questions about the studies, you can click on the little eye information button and it tells you about that study. For example, on go, no go, what do the color of the bars mean? Things like that. Um, once you get the studies set the way you want them. Let's just add some to our chart. We're going to add the go no go and we'll add the orb 15. So you can now we see that in here. And then I can go to view and hit save view and I can call this whatever I want. We'll call it go no go and orb. Hit save. Now when I go to views you can see I had a previously saved view and I also have this one as well. So now when I come to this chart down here I don't have to do all those steps. I can just click on the one that I want and add it to the chart. If I want to change the time frame, I can do that as well. Go to a seven minute, see what it looks like. This chart, I'm going to do the same view, actually a different view, and I'm going to add that one in. So I've got the cues on the one minute, the cues on the seven minute, and I can add the cues here on the three minute. And now I can watch these as they go through. The other nice feature is under plots. If you click on this, you can toggle one of them off. You can toggle studies on and off as well. So if, there, if you just want to see a clean chart, you can just do this. And then it's back to where it was and then to add them back in just turn them back on and you're good to go if you want to see this chart in full screen just hit this expand button and it takes it up to the the full screen hit the minimize and it takes it back to where it was on the screen so a bunch of new features here um, also under events there is a new option called signal iq signal iq is very interesting what it does is it lets you take different studies and lets you create signals on the chart that will give you a little pop-up icon on the chart that tells you when something happens. So a lot of information on this, I'll do a separate video just strictly about signal IQ, but this is something that you can play around with as well. And you'll see it on the chart. It'll give you little tags, kind of similar to this no-go or the go, uh, except it's a little, you know, you can change whatever icon you want to show when a certain parameter happens on a different indicator or study. If you want to move a chart around, you can do that as well. You're going to click on the little three dots at the bottom of each chart. Each chart has one of those. Let's say I want to move this chart over here. I can just click on this and say move left. It goes, oh, it swaps places. If I do the same thing, it'll swap places with the top one. Uh, so you can move charts around very easily. 
if I want to add another chart, I can do that. I can just hit add to the right. So I'm going to put a new one to the right, which will bump this one to the top, and then I'll have four charts. Add to the right. That one goes to the top. Now I've got this new one here that I can then change to whatever I want as well. Or I can just remove it all together, and it brings this back to that standard layout that I have selected here. Now the next question is, a lot of people wonder, hey, I like to see multi charts, but I also want to see option flow at the same time. Can I do that? Yes, you can. All you got to do is click on options. You click on options and option flow then is replaced with chat over here and you can now watch option flow as it comes in. Beautiful enhancement to the program. Now, there is a new box here that you'll see that has nine boxes inside the box. This adjusts the way the charts and the option flow all set in these different uh, modules. For example, if I click compact, what this does is it takes option flow and turns it into the mobile version of the option flow, which gives your charts more room. That is, this is the absolute largest way you can view charts, is when your options flow is in um, compact mode. Full is what we're used to on the lines. Okay, This is the normal size lines that we normally have on option flow. And then if you click side by side, the charts get smaller. However, now I have chart, uh, option flow down the middle as normal, and to the right I have charts, or excuse me, I have chat, or I can use, look at alert log, whatever the case may be. You have all of the, these uh, scanners down here, and then you have the option flow panel down here as well. This is probably more what you're used to seeing, and then adding the multi-charts here just replaces that bullish flow, bearish flow graph that we usually have in this mode. If I want to get rid of that or if I want to see it again, I can just hit the minimize button. It's going to take all the charts back into this little tiny spot and then the bearish flow, bullish flow comes back up. Make it go away. It's going to go away just by hitting that expand. Now, as you can see here on the flow, if I click on, um, let me click here. A lot of people wonder what this uh, lock is right here. You notice I can turn it on or turn it off. What that does is it lets you, if it's turned off, anytime I click on a chart, watch this panel over here. If I click on cues, see how it sorts to the cues? If I click on Tesla, this chart is going, this graph scanner is going to sort to Tesla. If I lock, however, that won't happen anymore. See, I can click around and the site does not sort according to my chart. So that's kind of a nice thing to have because what we found during testing was as I was clicking on different charts, my flow and my scanners were always filtering and I didn't want that. So that's why you can get away from that happening is just click on that lock feature and then your charts are locked from sorting. Now what it will continue to do, however, is if you click on a ticker that's in flow, then you'll get that sort where you get Apple here, Apple here, and your chart switches to Apple as well, okay? One other enhancement we made was to the watch list feature. So let's look at watch list. I'm going to click on all here to bring option flow back to normal. I'm going to click on watch list. As you have your watch list pulled up, you've got three columns now that have boxes that you can check. Um, the first box, if you hover it over, it says only. So any, if I only check these boxes, then anything that is checked, that is the only flow that I'm going to see. So if I go now back to flow, I should only see Apple and AMD flow uh, let me click this here. Uh, once I set my filter to only, right there, see that? So you have to set your filter to only, hit apply. Now I'm only going to see Apple and AMD. Why? Because on my watch list, those are the only two that are checked. And you can see because I have it filtered on, this box is highlighted in green. Now if I uncheck these boxes and hit omit, now when I go back to uh, my flow, and go to filter, I can go to omit. Now I will not see any Apple or AMD flow because I now have it omitted. So that used to be all in the watch list where you would check it and you would actually highlight here um, or here and it would turn this whole column green. But now you check the tickers you want and then you turn that filter on and off in the option flow filter. All right. So let me uncheck this because I also want to show you under watch list this third column, which is highlight. Highlight is awesome because it lets you see flow. It grabs your attention on certain flow, but you don't have to keep your eye on it the entire time. For example, let me just click a couple of these 
and we'll see you'll see what I'm talking about we'll click on a couple of them here now I'll go back to flow now you can see what happens because I have Nvidia meta and I, I don't remember the other one highlighted anytime flow comes in in those tickers I will get a highlight it was Google I will get a highlight around it so if you're not if you're busy and you can't just sit there and watch flow nonstop all day long that's a great little tool to be able to see the flow that comes in grabs your attention real easily and lastly I want to show one small thing a new setting that you have if you notice the flow has this striping where you see this grayish color then darker gray dark gray dark gray dark some users have said they like it some other users have said they would rather did not be there you do have now the option to turn that on or off and to find that you're going to come up here to your personal profile and just go to settings and under settings it's right here disable striping on grids and you see this you can see the striping is is in this currently and if I, as soon as I check that you can see it takes it away and now it's just one solid color so you can you can definitely uh, do that if you'd like again that's found under settings and you can either turn that on or turn that off uh, trade station e trade all work perfectly with the trading click click boom so you can still utilize those and then make sure you have that enable rapid decline checked as well um, all right that is it for now again get on the system play around with it as much as you can ask questions if you need help you can always get a hold of me my email is swan at blackboxstocks.com and you guys i am here for you to help you out so enjoy the great day and stay green